Ladies and gentlemen, this is Adam Kokush here at the Texas State Libertarian Party Convention. I'm here with Jason Hope, and I couldn't help but notice when I, when I met him that he has some very interesting tattoos. Jason, why don't you show for the camera here and explain what these are? Uh, these are Hatchetmen. Uh, they are the symbol for the record label for Psychopathic Records, uh, Insane Clown Posse, uh, Twisted. Uh, a lot of different groups came out of that, but Insane Clown Posse being the most predominant. But it means something to have these tattoos. You, you take on an identity with this. You are a juggalo. I mean, what does that mean to you? And, and, and what's your experience in the community? Um, well, being a juggalo was all about uh, being family. Um, you know, that was one of the biggest things was people that didn't belong. You know, I was kind of an outcast when I was in school, stuff like that. And uh, so being that kind of person, having people accept you for no matter what, uh, <laughs> um, people accepting you for whoever you are was very appealing and so I got involved that way and it just it grew from there so now I didn't even think about that connection but that's such an important one to me about the libertarian movement that it, we are the outcasts we are the punks the rebels the misfits the square pegs and the round holes and when you come to a libertarian event there's no judgment you know, there's, what, what we are about is, at least in the political context, right, the universality of human rights. And there is a family within the Libertarian Party. And, it, you know, when I heard that Juggalos were branded as a gang by the FBI, I was just like, this is insane. <laughs> and, 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 but as a Libertarian, I go... Oh, the government hates you too. Let's be friends. <laughs> yeah, like uh, that was one of the appealing things for me when I, you know, as a juggalo uh, for the libertarian movement was they accepted me for who I was. I may not agree with you. I may not agree with everything you do, but it's not for me to say what you can and can't do, how you can, can and can't live your life. And uh, I think that's one of the biggest things for juggalos to take a look at is, you know, uh, you know, with the FBI classification. Um, you know, and the legalization stuff, you know, a lot of jugglers out there smoke some herb. Uh, if, <laughs> if... Uh, we, we have the pin here, we have the normal table here. <laughs> yeah. We have, we are pot smoking Republicans, <laughs> not true. But yeah, yeah obviously, yeah, no. and, and if I may, just to make the connection for anybody who's watching who might be a juggalo, who's like, oh, well, weed should be legal. No, it doesn't matter. You own yourself. This yeah. is the foundation of libertarianism, and no one but you has a right to decide what you put in your own body. Yeah, it's, it's not about legalization. It's about freedom to express and be who you are. Um, and like I said, that was one of the big draws for me to the Liberty Movement was I want to live my life the way I want to live my life. I want to be who I am. And I don't, you know, as long as I'm not hurting anybody else, what's, what's the issue there? You know, why, if I want to put something in my body, who are they to say what I should be able to do? So it seems like there's a natural connection here. Now, obviously, when, when you're a juggalo, there's more of a concern with enjoying life, and it's actually something that the libertarians could learn from, yeah. although we do a pretty good job of that as well. But if you wanted, if you're a juggalo and, and you know, you're looking at all these frustrating issues, would you say that the Libertarian Party is a good productive outlet if, you, if you're upset by being classified as a gang, if you're upset seeing fellow juggalos, family members, go to jail for bullshit, for victimless crimes. How would you tell someone in that situation that the, the Libertarian Party is an effective means of, of fighting that injustice? Well, if you're tired of the way things are and you're, you want to make something change, you have to do something, regardless of what it is. Um, so if you're upset with the political system, the classification, uh, marijuana, or whatever your issue is with it, um, you should take a stance and the Libertarian Party is the one that has, you know, really stood behind liberty and individual freedom and would be the party for you to go to because that's where you're going to be able to best achieve that goal. Would you say that the Juggalo community is politically active at all? I would say some of them. Uh, the guy that woke me up, uh, my buddy Paris, uh, he, uh, he is uh, a Juggalo. Um, that's how we met was we were Juggalos, you know, and... Uh, so he's the one that presented the information to me and was like, hey, you need to, you need to look at this. You know what I mean? So I, I took a look at it and it, and it woke me up, Ron Paul, 2008, and I was like. <laughs> well, the, the, the sense I get as, as an outside observer of the family is that there's a, a kind of helplessness or hopelessness to think like, 
well, we're always going to be the redheaded stepchildren. We're always going to be the outcast. There's nothing we can do to stand up and fight the system. So screw it. We're just going to enjoy life. And I totally respect that. Yeah. But that's not true. Yeah. You know, you don't have to be hopeless and helpless when we have a political movement. And I just want to say to anybody who's watching this, who's a juggalo, like, if there's a political party for you, it's the LP. And we want to be welcoming and we want to make sure that, you know, this is a party that respects and accepts you. Yeah. Um, uh, um, I forgot what I was going to say now. Uh, it's a miracle. It's so, it's, it's, it, no, I mean, there's a, I, I think to break out of that hopelessness and that helplessness, you have to see that there's the possibility for change. And what we see when you study, when you look at what the libertarian movement, the party is doing, the change that we're seeking yeah. is inevitable. And yeah. you're going to want to be a part of it. The sooner we get this critical mass of people who believe in freedom engaged in the process, the sooner we achieve real freedom. Yeah, the, the thing with, you know, you're saying you want to just enjoy life, you want to just, you know, I don't want to deal with any of that, whatever. Well, you can go try to hide behind a rock, basically. But my, my answer to that is you look at, like, Ruby Ridge uh, was a big one, you know, like a family that just tried to go live their life, tried to ignore everything, put everything away. And, you know, most of that family's dead now from the government. So uh, they, they won't stop, you know what I mean? They will come to your front door no matter where you are, so... If you don't do politics, politics is still going to do you. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions, including DTube. And you can find that through Steemit.com, as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your post and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.